Hey everyone, it's Chris here from L3D Accessories. So today I'm really excited to be able to show you something new. This is the Atomstack P1 laser engraver. It's a compact diode laser engraver that's aimed at beginners and hobbyists, but it still packs a punch. I've got the upgraded version here, which includes a five watt diode laser and also a 1.2 watt infrared module. And I'll be testing both of them in this video. So I'm gonna take you through the unboxing, the setup, I'm gonna do a few engraving tests and I'll be giving you my honest first impressions, absolutely no fluff whatsoever. Just to be upfront with you, this machine was sent to me by Atomstack as part of a collaboration, but they haven't seen this video and they haven't influenced what I'm gonna say. Everything I'm sharing with you is based on my own opinion and my own experiences. We've got it all laid out here. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got the P1 mini user manual right in front of us. Then we'll move on to the 1.2 watt IR module. Then we've got the USB-C cable, which has got an actual really cool feature where it's got a USB-A adapter, lint cloth, USB token, and our wooden material that we can test on. So inside, really spacious, really clean look. There's the five watt diode laser it comes with. You've got the core XY linear rails on there and really, really bright. Great, great to see what you're engraving in there. So let's take a look at the side. We've got the security token on the left there, interface for the rotary tool, a USB drive. We've got the computer port and the power ports. On the back, you can attach a extractor hose onto there. Perfect if you do want to extract out your fumes, which you should. Then what I really love is how bright and how clear this machine is. These panels on the side just allow really, really good visuals on there. And then finally on top, we've got a frame repeat button and a start pause button. So what I want to do next is show you how you focus the laser. It's really, really easy. You've got a little rod that you can extend down vertically and then you just release the catch. Make sure you hold onto the label, the laser when you do this. You lower it until it touches it and then you tighten it and then literally just fold it back up. Your laser is now focused on the item. The software itself is free, it comes with it. You can also use Lightburn. I'm, I'm using their software in this case and as you can see, I've put a picture of Elvis into it. You can adjust it, you can invert it. You can also add your own text into there and I'm gonna show you, you can easily adjust everything and position it. There are also a number of built-in images and projects that you can use. On the right, you've got a material library. This is for the IR module here, so there's, there's limited, but there's lots more than that. You can manually adjust your power, your speed and your line spacing. And then at the top, you'll also see you can select line, fill or cut there. Now we're gonna show you some examples of the diode and laser engraving.
I've got the additional 1.2 watt IR module and for this if you want to use it you have to remove the 5 watt diode laser and replace it with this one so let me show you how to do that. You want to take the base plate out first as I'm showing you right here. Then we're going to turn the machine on its side and this is all in line with what's in the instructional manual. What we need to do next is release the little lock and that will loosen it on the rail, pull it out, but you're gonna see in a second, there is actually a cable plugged in the back. So you need to unclip that. And then we're gonna line up the infrared module as I've shown you here onto that same rail. Make sure you plug the cable in as well. I haven't shown it, but I did do it. Then we're just gonna tighten it back in place. And just as easy as that, we have swapped them out. Here I'm going to show you that you can actually get a nice black contrasting indelible mark using the IR laser. If you go a bit slower with full speed, you can really, really make it stand out and it looks great. All right, so here are my final thoughts on the Atomstack P1 Mini. So to start with, I really like the overall look and feel of the machine. It's lightweight, it's portable, and the orange and white color scheme really makes it pop and gives it a clean and modern finish. Everything is laid out really well, and the removable base plate is also a big plus. It means you can engrave larger and awkwardly shaped items, simply lifting them over the top of that. So the magnetic doors and the large viewing window also stand out. They give great visibility whilst keeping things really safe. It also comes with a USB safety dongle, which won't run unless it's plugged in. And that's a really handy safety feature if you've got kids, just like I do. So from a performance point of view, I believe this machine will use a Core XY motion system. Well, I know it does. And that means fast, clean movement and consistent engraving results. Focusing the laser is done manually, but the process is also really simple. And swapping between the 5 watt diode and the 1.2 watt infrared module is quick and straightforward. It's a really nice touch that really expands the materials that you can engrave on. So in terms of price, I think it's really fair for what it offers. You get a capable, compact and safe engraver ideal for someone just getting started. There are a few, cu a couple of things I'd like to see improve though. The magnets that come with it to hold materials in place are small and they could easily be misplaced. Lightweight materials like leather keychains can sometimes shift during the engraving and the fold down focusing arm works, but I think the build could be a bit sturdier. While the manual looks great visually, it also doesn't explain much beyond the basics. So if you're brand new to laser engravings, you might need to spend a bit of time figuring this out. That said, once you're set up, it's a really, really capable machine. I had absolutely no troubles engraving on wood, leather, stainless steel, and aluminium, and the results were really impressive. For me, I'd give the P1 Mini a really solid score because it's a compact, beginner-friendly, and very versatile machine for the price point. I didn't get the chance to test the optional extractor or rotary tools for this review, but it's good to know the machine also supports those upgrades. If the Atomstack P1 looks like something you're interested in, you'll find a link in the comments below and also a nice discount code that will get you a little bit money off. So if you've enjoyed the video today, please consider in liking, dropping a comment and also subscribing to the channel. It allows us to keep making genuine, honest, hands-on content like this. We'll be releasing more in the near future, so please stay tuned and thank you for watching.